Uh, and listen, because of this, what we call onshore wind flow, this southwest or west wind, we're going to pop up, or we have been popping up, a couple little tiny downpours right along the coast. So notice around Venice, quick little downpour. Again, as soon as it typically hits the coast, it starts to fall apart. Notice around Laurel how it's falling apart. But if you run into one down here, hey, good for you. Just a quick little tiny downpour. First thing this morning, that's it. Listen, we've got a lot more rain in the forecast. We have been waiting. We have really been waiting to get some decent rain around here. And this is our week. Now, it may take till the second half of the week mind you, but we are. Everybody is going to get some decent rain this week. 82 degrees, our Hudson Beach camera, a little light west wind. There's that onshore wind as well from the USF Marine Science camera. I mean, it's gorgeous out this morning. It's just really warm and steamy. 84 in Tampa, 85 in St. Pete, 81 in West Chase, as well as the Crystal River area. I've got a lot of mid to upper 70s, Land Lakes, Brooksville. I've got 81 in Mayaka City, 80 in Lakewood Ranch, and upper 70s. And lower 80s inland. The humidity levels, my goodness, anytime you get a wind coming in off the Gulf, whether it's a straight west or a southwest wind, this is what happens to the humidity levels. And anything over 70 is oppressive. So dew points near 80, that's like it's like tropical, deep tropical moisture at the surface. So we are generating a heat index along the coast right now in the low to mid 90s. And that's the kind of day it's going to be with the heat index getting between 100 and 105 for the most part later today. Today's rain chances are about 20%. They're, they're not great and they're mainly inland. Then tomorrow, watch, a little bit more of that moisture pools in, we get to 40%. By Tuesday, are at 60% and then 80% on Wednesday. So this deep tropical moisture sitting in the Caribbean just literally gets pulled, a little piece of it gets pulled northward. And that's the missing piece that we haven't had to get the rainfall. So that's why it's finally going to rain this week. No one individual day will be a washout, but as the week moves along, we'll get more widespread activity, say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hot and humid today, just a 20% chance of these spotty inland storms with your highs in the mid 90s. Warm and muggy tonight with a low temperature of 80 and then back to about 93 degrees again. Tomorrow we'll take the rain chance and we'll double it to 40%. And then on Wednesday, we'll bring it to 60% and then to 80%. So yeah, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and going into Friday. This is our little stretch where we get the majority of our rain and many areas obviously could see multiple inches of rain. So we'll cross our fingers and this isn't going to be till later this week. Today though, just like yesterday.